you know, I used to work for a company probably back probably like uh, ten years ago. <laughs> I know it took me a second to think about it, but I used to work for this company about ten years ago and I remember we had like a corporate training and then uh, after the corporate training they had a separate meeting to talk about uh, appropriate attire in the office uh, you know the standards of the company and um, the do's and don'ts for the company and so I don't know I just supposed that every company not every company I work for, but you know, every company that's kind of like that company and that caliber of work, I thought that the rules would be the same. So having said all of that, um, people who wear perfume to work, excessive perfume and excessive oils bother the shit out of me. It's like you have no respect for other people in the office you are not the only person here why do you have to put perfume on so like and the thing about it is is that i think that they're immune to it like they wear it every day or you know what i'm saying it's it's every day like so it it really doesn't it really doesn't bother them but it's it's bothering me <laughs> and it bothers other people in the office and you know when you work around a bunch of passive aggressive people nobody ever wants to say anything and i i just cannot fucking stand passive aggressive people because they sugarcoat things and they make it seem like it's okay and then at the wrong time they blow up and it's like who are you mad at are you mad at yourself because you didn't say nothing or are you mad at everybody else like who are you really mad at here in this situation and so currently we have this young lady she puts this perfume on it's like an oil <clears throat> And she rubs it in her hair. She rubs it all over her arms, her hands. And then she puts some, I guess, in her, in her hands. And then she rub it all up and down her sleeves of her jacket. And this is like when she comes, she waiting. And I'm like, why the fuck do you wait to you get to work to do all of this? Why, why do you do this when you here? Like, at least put this nasty smelling stuff on when you when you wake up and when you get dressed and when you leave the house that way it's at your house and i'm telling you like it's on everything it's on the mouse to the computers it's in the chairs you can smell it and i'm just like man i don't like people like that like why do you have to leave your scent everywhere why does somebody have to walk into a room and say oh it smells like such and such in here Oh, such and such was here. We smell her. Like, why do we smell you when you're not there? Like, oh, man, I just can't stand it. And it, it just bothers my allergies so bad. It bothers my allergies. It just uh, it gets on my nerves. And so um, when I went to Tennessee, I went to a, a metaphysical shop there and uh, I purchased some helping hands and uh helping hands is basically like a little oil that you can dab on you or you can use it when you light your candles or you know i'm tapping into my ashes closet side now when i'm talking to y'all but you can um purchase the helping hands and it, it, it's supposed to help you with situations and this helping hands oil that i have it smells like that's what she's using and I think it is. I really think that's what it is. I don't think it's just a regular old oil that she's just deciding to use. I think that it's like um some type of spiritual oil that she's using. And it, it just stinks. It just fucking stinks. So, you know, whether it's body odor and it's the person in the office that stinks and nobody wants to talk to that person about it. Or if it's somebody that's just overly excessively using a fragrance, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. You know, and I have a friend, we chat about this every now and again because he he is really into cologne and he likes to use cologne. Um, I don't think he uses it like to an excessive a point, but you can smell it and we talked about that and he's like well if it, if i can't smell it i don't want to wear it and i understand that it's for the fulfillment and enjoyment of you i understand that 
But when you are in an office setting and when you are closely working with people and you constantly have to talk to people and people have to come to you and get answers or you have to go to them and do, you know, it's just not professional. It's not professional for you to stink and it's not professional <clears throat> for you to over accessorize. It's not professional for you to just throw all this extra cologne and perfume on because what what you like, others don't like all the time. And, and forget just liking. Put some respect on my nose and my throat. Like some people have really bad allergies and I am just one of those persons at times like, when when she works with me, I'm just I back up like you know what I mean, and I'm like my face. I can't I can't have my face for so long. You know what I'm saying? So now when she's coming, I just hold my breath. Like why are you in? This is the inconvenience. It's the inconvenience. It's inconvenience all day. But I just look on the schedule. I'll be like, damn. You know, I was using the computer and. uh I needed to rub my eyes. So I went like this because I didn't want to use this part of my hand. You know, I just quickly just wanted to do one of these numbers and I smelled it. And I was like, God damn, this girl not even here. Why do I smell you? Like, okay, I'm not going to ramble no more about this. But that's that's just how I feel about these smells and these scents in the office. It's like it's it can be overbearing. It could be just too much. And it's not right. Like. It's not right. And so I'm, I've noticed that nobody is bold enough to say anything about it. And the only reason why I haven't said anything about it is because I should have said something about it long ago. And I told myself long ago when I didn't say nothing about it the first day, if I wasn't going to say nothing about it that whole day, then I can never say nothing about it again any other time because it's. It's like I've been working with her all this time now. So it's not like I can be like, oh, your perfume bothers me. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Because I should have said the shit, the shit when it happened the first day. So that's not passive aggressive. You know, passive aggressive people just hold it in and then they're going to let it blow up. But I already done made a decision that I, I'm, I can't say nothing because unless it's just choking me one day. And I'm be like, look, this is too much. I'm so goddamn tired of smelling this. And I am tired of smelling it. Like, damn, don't you ever, like, take a shower and be like, today I'm going to wear this. This scent. This scent. Today. You know, switch it up or something. But quit killing us every day with this same scent. Oh, all right. That's all I had to say. Oh, my goodness. It took me eight minutes to say that. <laughs> Peace and blessings to y'all.